chopping block for demonstration purposes only. I'm not a chopping block kind of dude. The flick. Once again, the flank. You can do it the other way too. You guys see this axe? You remember this axe? This axe has been through tests. It's an HB on a straight handle. It's actually, it's freaking outrageous. It's one of my nicest axes that I've made in quite a while. <clears> that just feels incredible. Okay? Just does. Just does, friends. You know, not all axes are created equally, but I can guarantee you, this one, <laughs> it's, it's just, <laughs> uh, I really, really like working with good um, pieces, good pieces, good handle, good head, right? I've had some hellish jobs. <clears throat> they just won't go on straight or... You know, it won't, won't this, it won't that. You know? Um, you gotta lay down on this son of a gun like you never laid down on nothing. Oh, I always say that when I'm making axes, friends. It's hard for me to let the axe go. I, I, I've been around it my whole life. I've been quite intimate with it, as most of you know. <laughs> yeah, right here. So I was very intimate with it one time. I don't particularly like talking about it. It was not a great day in my life. My daddy, he feels pretty, pretty bad about it, actually. For, for those of you who don't really know, oh gosh almighty, I tell you, it, it was a sad day at our house. My daddy was in the shop. He was he was making axes. Is what he was doing. He was doing this. Okay, I told you that, didn't I? All right. Now, friends, it, the thing is, when you're building these things, you got to have that head on, head off, head on, head off, all kinds of times to get the fit right. I told you that, right? All right. Now, the thing, my daddy, he was doing. He was. He had it on there, friends. He was giving it a beat, and he was whacking it on the thing there, and then he went to give it a swing around. The head flew right off the freaking handle, cracked me right square in the teeth. 
it knocked my lip right off my face. It landed on the floor, and it was squiggling there like a worm because it had the nerves going. I couldn't believe it, friends. I didn't feel nothing, really. That's how I got this. I don't feel that good about it. In grade school, it bugged the heck out of me. Because then when your lips, you lose your lip, you got you get saliva and all kinds, you know, kinds of things happen to you, and it's not the greatest, friends. I'll be honest with you. But you know something? I believe my dad told me after that, he said, Sonny, he said, Cletus, God created us all the same. He said, that red stuff that was pouring out of your face when I hit you with the axe. He said, everybody else has got the same color of that stuff inside them. And he said, don't you worry about nothing. That's what he told me. I told you that, didn't I? So, friends, I don't care no more about it. I just live with it. And actually, it's part of who I am. I quite like it, as a matter of fact. <laughs> yes, I do. It has a little character to me, if I wouldn't say so myself. Yes, indeed. All right, friends, this axe is phenomenal. And it's ready. And I was a little, I had a couple of people involved in this, uh, wondering this and that, and this and that. But it's, it's, it's actually, you know what it is, friends? It's going to be a surprise. It's just going to show up at your door and you're going to be like, oh my goodness gracious, Bucking gave me that axe. Cletus helped them out and pack it up. Because that's what we're doing right now. We're packing it up. Packing it. Over and out. The flick, friends. Slow motion. Don't throw your uh, your beat up wedges. Don't don't throw them away. Get out your wood rasp. I don't use the four in hand. It's not big enough. I use quite a good size um, wood rasp. And I, I just these things are amazing for this. You just clean up your wedges. I've been doing this for 20 years. See guys throw them away and it is it's crazy. You, know, you can clean them up with a power saw and a bush too, but that's it. Give it a couple of those just to make it a little harder. You're off to the races again. That one wasn't in real bad shape, but you'd be surprised at how that's going to help slipping in when you get pinched over and out. Well, well, well. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Novak, buddy, how are you? I hope you're well. I hope you're well. Hey, we got some, uh, we got some really good feedback on it. I didn't expect that. Um... I don't know what to do about that. Maybe you guys can help me. Um, maybe, I'll, I don't know. Well, friends, um, th this little axe here, okay? Um, 
it, if just just put it this way, just put it this way. If I was out and about and I saw this axe in a saw shop or in a in a freaking or just say in anywheres, anywheres. Do you know what I mean? You just you, well for starters, you won't see something like this out there in the saw shop or or your axe store. You're not seeing it. Okay, it's either Grand's Force or ox head or gba or you know halt force whatever husky it's all halt force that stuff but the gba i mean you know there's there's others but <laughs> friends i got about seven emails on this axe today i put the video up friends this is something that i've been thinking about forever for 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 a long time i've used so many axes through the years and i got five or six hanging off all the freaking things out here. I split so much wood. I believe in, in using the correct tool for the correct job. And that all happened to me when I got smashed. I learned that because I was, I, I, I mean, I do, I don't do things that smart, to be honest with you. I'm just a physical guy. Just like get my hands in there, get in there, get dirty, get in there. And I don't do things that the most uh, efficient way. I don't do it. I just, you know, I'm about getting it done. And if you're in my way, look out because I'll you're going too slow. And I, I was just that that's where my head was at until I got hammered. So it's probably thing I probably a good thing I did get hammered. There's no mistakes. Anyway, um, so um, when I got hit, uh, I needed to learn ways, better ways to do stuff that was uh, more energy saving. <laughs> so I just thought I started thinking, you know, like I love swinging a double bit and I and I. I do. So I'll probably make myself a special little double. I've already got one in mind, actually. Oh, it's going to be. Yeah, actually, I already do. I just love it. it and, and I mean, this wood's simple to split. It's fur. It's easy to split. It's, there's no, this isn't, hey, look at, we're splitting all this hard wood. It's not like that. Why would I do that when I have all this hard softwood around me? That's what we have, friends. <laughs> it's what we have. I love when I get those comments. Oh, you wouldn't be splitting our oak like, well, of course you wouldn't be. It's different freaking wood, man. <laughs> you guys. Oh, I love it. I, you get it lots, right? It's just so funny. It's like you're so proud of your hard splitting wood. I think that's great. Good for you. Honestly, I'm being serious. Good, good for you. Good to be proud of where you're from and what trees are growing there. Um, I'm happy I've got this, to be honest with you. Very happy. So uh, if you want to bring a truckload of your oak up and drop it in the yard here, Sit down in a chair and watch me go at her. By all means, bring it up. I'll have a go at her. It'll be fun. So, yeah, I don't really shy away with, from any wood. It's about technique. It's not brute strength all the time, friends. I've seen women split wood better than men. Lots of times. It's about technique. Okay, enough ramble. But these axes, friends, I just, I, I freaking love them. Look at these little buggers. Look at these little wedge bangers, friends. Hey? <laughs> oh, that keen cutter is nice. And this, this is Mark's. Mark Jr., that's your axe, bud. Right there. It's ready for you, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Mr. Novak, how are you, buddy? Well, it's actually happening, and I don't know how it is, but it is. And what I mean by that is it's bunker week. Uh, friends, I, <laughs> I can't believe it. I, I, I cannot believe this is actually here and happening. I feel like, oh, I just, everything from what I'm doing right now, I've been having a bit of an emotional day. And I'll be honest with you, I got no problem with that. I got no problem with being emotional and, 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 and you know, saying people I'm feeling emotional because... Friends, I hesitate on saying, oh, I come out of the, you know, I, well, it just, it's just crazy. It's just crazy that this is happening in my life. It's nuts because of you people and YouTube. You got to thank YouTube friends. You got to, as much as there's negative trolls and all the, the people that sit there and, and, and do the little tweedly tweedly tweet on their computers and they don't have lives or whatever. Maybe they'll, maybe one day they will find happiness. Maybe one day they'll be able to feel good enough about themselves where they don't have to chop down other people. Maybe that day will come. I have faith friends. I do. I don't, I don't, 
I don't care what people say about me. I know it's coming from their own fears and their own self-loathing. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a shame. I was there. I was there. I felt terrible about myself years ago. Over 20 years ago now, I felt useless. I didn't know what I was going to do with my hands. I was a I was into substances. It just my life was I wasn't being a good guy. I mean, I wasn't being a bad person, but I wasn't treating myself very good. So how was I able to to feel any happiness for anyone else? You know, not everybody makes it on YouTube. Not, not everybody has a successful YouTube channel. Not everybody, do you know what I mean, friends? So the, gr the gratitude I have for this thing, I hold it tight, I hold it dear because I've, you know, it, it, I come from somewhere too, just like you come from somewheres. And you've come here to tune in to watch this, this uh, channel and bucking, shooting off and rambling and doing his thing. And for that, I'm grateful. You don't have to come here. But you do, you do, you know, I mean, so I just, friends, I, I don't know. I, I'm just reflecting today. I, I just, to me, it's, 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 it's incredible. It's really incredible to think that you people just it, it it blows me away it does sometimes I people ask me you know when, in my hometown here they'll say Buckin what are you doing what are you up to Buckin what am I up to I'm running a freaking YouTube channel is what I'm doing <laughs> right I am that's what I'm doing I'm running a YouTube channel you asked well is it paying you Buckin is it paying you they say I say well it's getting there, I tell them. I said, it's coming, because that is the truth. I think somehow, sooner or later, you, you do make money on YouTube, is, is what I've heard. Now, because they always ask, right? Everybody always asks, oh, so are they paying you? How much money are you making? They don't, they don't want to know. Not right now, anyways. Let's wait for a few more thousand subscribers, and then we'll tell them, eh? <laughs> so, yeah, it, it's, you know, it. So that's why I've always been so grateful for any help, any help on this channel. It's been amazing. It's been amazing. And friends, Mr. Novak. So yeah, I'm just, I'm just totally reflecting this week. I, this is, <laughs> there's going to be a few more axes made in the shop. We don't know. Or in this carport. You know what I mean, friends? I hope you enjoyed the last video. Beautiful country up there. Beautiful. Okay, there's two wrapped right there. Working on the third. Let's do it. Talk to you in a, talk to you in a minute, Mr. Novakius. Hey friends, we're back. See, this thing's quite sharp, this axe of Caleb's already. This beautiful little freaking hatchet I made the other night. It just, it, it I, I, I actually octagoned the handle, friends. I did, I octagoned it, and I love it. It's a beautiful little carpenter's hatchet, a little like a, 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 a an outdoor little, oh, it's beautiful. It really is. I love it. Gosh, it feels nice in the hand. Beautiful. Now, friends, there's been a few, um, whatchamacallit, requests about um, sharpening the axis, okay? I know it's hard for you to see in the light there, but there's no no little divots. We flip over, and you can see kind of some bit of rough, rough edges here, but this has hardly got it at all, friends, literally.
So it's that simple, friends. Literally. So what you get now, well, I don't have to turn that off. You can literally, you know, you can do this with it because I put a blunt edge on it. You may even see it. Okay? It's blunt. So, this is what I do. Okay? And I'm doing it by hand. I can literally see the burr come up, friends. I can. Yeah, there it is. I'm already there. I can see the burr pop up. It's there. We're sharp. Instantly. That's it. It's beautiful, friends. Now, if you want, you can just do a really light pass. You can do another light pass on the other side. Help. Just like that. Shut the tool down so we don't have to be so noisy. Now, if I had my eye in the sky... It, it friends i freaking love that tool okay so there's the edge that's done the burr's gone off of that the burr's almost gone off of that because i did those light passes but there is a slight burr you you won't see it friends because of the camera it's just terrible but i'm telling you right freaking now friends that is wicked sharp that'll cut your freaking finger it friends it's sharp <laughs> okay so so but i don't keep them that sharp because there's a burr that needs to go, friends. There, there just is. Believe it or not, there is. Okay, so let, let's get the burr for crying out loud. Let's do it. Shall we? I think we shall. Let's get it. Okay. Here, I'll just do it this way so you guys can see. I sometimes come off the, well, actually, this is the same thing, if you think about it. Okay. Yeah, this is... <laughs> I flip it over. You can see it happen. And then I just, I know it's gone, but I'm just going to, for good measure, just give it one more on this side. Because you'll, you'll actually switch it from side to side, eh, friends? You will. That's it. Give her a wipe. This axe, Caleb. This is this is <laughs> it's nice. It's freaking nice. Oh. Let, you know what, friends? Let's go do it. Because we can. Uh, I feel like it, so let's go smack it in some more wood. This is sharp now, it's sharper than it was. And it and before it ripped wood. Like it ripped wood. So let's check it out. Right? Should we make a new pass? Or just flip this thing over and chop the sucker in half? What do you think of that? That's what I think. Ah. Yes, I do. The freaking size of the chips coming out of that son of a gun. So, there's a big knot here.
Look at that, friends. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Did you guys see that? That's neat. Gosh. Friends, I, I don't know what to say. Caleb, wow. Wow. And that's your best test, right, friends, for an axe, your fitmanship. That's your best test is a crosscut. Not splitting firewood. It's not your best test because you're, you're not dead stop in the head. You're just splitting through wood. So I'm just kind of enjoying my, my time in here, friends, because I'm a bit sentimental about leaving the shop. I know that may sound funny, but I'm a sentimental guy. Caleb, um, I don't, I don't know what to say. This is, it's incredible. This is a beautiful axe. I'm going to wrap it up. Might even leave some of the black from the pitch and the wood on it already. You know what I mean? Sax is done. Open up. I don't want my axe's hair cut and sharp, friends. I don't want it. Then you're busting off edges and I think guys get going too much on that. Depending on what you're doing. If you're carving with it, for sure. Or making little shavings and stuff, get her sharp. But if you're cutting firewood, friends, get an edge on it. Oh, oh dear lord. See, this is freaking sharp. You know, this works really good. I think my burr's gone. Yeah, it is. It's gone. So there we go. That's it. Sharp as, sharp as heck. It'll actually, it, it's sharp, friends. I, just trust me on that one. It is sharp. Yeah, it digs right in and slivers out wood, so it's good. Okay, so that's, that's what I do. So I'm going to do the other side now because I've done this one. Open up. 